All right, hey, I got someone watching. This is my first time actually streaming uh, completely live. I did a test uh, earlier this week, but um, yeah, I'm building out this new Fisherman's Pier and seeing what I can do with it. So just keep working on uh, building out some of this infrastructure. Oh, I'm going to add a, uh, I think a vendor in this little area. So I'm going to work on that now. Add one of these new. Oh, no one else is watching. So I want to add a fence here, but I wanted to get it close. And oh, actually, you know what? That's pretty close. I don't know if I can do better than that, actually. I could move this. Move this just a little further up. Ooh, that works, yes. Just so it's kind of more in line. Let's see if this will fit. Yes. It's a little better. All right. So I'm going to add that other defensive wall back in. Let's see. I really like these new plank walls. Um, it would be nice if they snapped to each other. Which I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, but they do act just like the other normal jump walls. Which is fine. Um, but, yeah, what are you going to do? And this rock is going to be the bane of my existence here. Because it's not going to let me put this in. Let's see. Could play. I could see if it. Um, let me add in a no power connector. Well, that's not a jazz. It's supposed to be hip hop. Let's go to. Regular lo-fi girl, maybe? Give me a second. There we go. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay. So what I want to do is... 
See if I can merge this into something. I'm gonna use a little tiny thing. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try anyway. Because I want to get it to nestle up next to that um, rock, basically. There we go. And it's not going to sit, I think, there, but we'll see. Take it. That's actually way better than I thought. Oh, I got two people watching. Hey, I'll see. How's it going? Yeah, it's morning where you are, isn't it? How's your morning going so far? Just working on this uh, Fisherman's Pier thing. It's in this location. It's kind of a pre-existing location over here, kind of west of Hunter's Ridge, and it's a nice spot actually. It's got this pre-existing structure here, but I just kind of added some some stuff to it so far to kind of uh, shore it up a little bit. And um, there's an NPC here walking around somewhere, or maybe he's. Maybe he died, <laughs> I don't know. They sometimes do that. Or maybe he's stuck under one of the uh, foundations. So, let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, if you have any troubles with the audio or video or anything like that. This is my first time actually streaming um, outside of a test I did earlier this week, so. All right, so what I'm working on now is actually I'm building out a kind of little vendor area right here. Um, and the idea is this is going to be a little restaurant sort of thing. We can come here like a grab and go type thing, get some garlic meat, and then um, there would be a kind of living quarters over here and a little restaurant seating maybe here. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's all part of the process. All right. Okay. So for the vendor, I'm going to use. Uh, this guy. Mm. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. These uh, wooden tavern bar sets are a little too clean for me for this build, but I think that that's all we got really. The Sulcum's Joe one doesn't really fit. Um, but I could add a... Yeah, and this purple one doesn't really work either. <laughs> um, and this guy's way too noisy. I don't like having him around the, around the camp. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Glad you can hear me okay. So let's set this guy back a little bit, maybe. And uh, let's do core. I'm thinking about doing a video on just the sheer amount of stuff we have in this menu, because it's it's just so. Uh, frustrating sometimes because it's just a lot of stuff, you know. Oh, that should be fine. I don't know if I can get the full thing in there, but that's okay. Will that fit? Yeah, that'll fit. Debating whether or not I should get power over here. If I do that, actually what I can do is put it into here. The one thing that sucks about this spot is 
there's not a lot of flat area <laughs> to do merges and stuff, so I'm like stuck up here. I got Pyromancer here, just kind of chilling. Uh, all right, so what I might do is because I have a feeling I won't really need a ton of stuff or a ton of budget here. So let's see, this should work. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, wait, nope, I gotta do it the other way around. Oh yeah, I lose stuff in the menu too. It's um, most of my time is just spent looking through the menu, <laughs> trying to remember where everything is. And I think sub menus would be really helpful. You know, like if we had a sub menu for like plants or sub menu for like rugs, um, I think they could help like immensely. But all right. Oh what? Okay, hang on. So we gotta burn this guy. Come on. There we go. All right, burn him. <laughs> nope. Hey, easy fallout. How's it going? Just doing... Oh, come on, man. What? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Maybe what I can do... Repair that. Move it. Right now the place is now we gotta burn this probably. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. So uh, I'm in the uh, northwest here. It's not raining, so that's a good day. It is a little little wet and gray out, but Pacific Northwest, I should say. Yes, there we go. All right. Now let's see if I can get that. Come on. It works. Look how. You can kind of barely tell it's back there. But it's all good. Alright, and then we can like decorate. Put some stuff back up there. Maybe put some seats. Some chairs or something down here. Are you in Florida? What's the weather like down there? Is it nice and warm? My mom lives in Florida. She told me the other day, she was like... It's so cold here, it's like 70 or like 69. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Saturday. Oh yeah, you guys are a day ahead of us. Where are you in Australia? I've, uh, I've been to Melbourne. Yeah. But uh, I've only really been to Melbourne. I haven't, I haven't really poked around Sydney or anything. Or even like... Uh, you know, in the north, all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Like these ones. I like to mix it up too. Let's see. I want this to kind of be a junky place. Central Coast, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, New South Wales. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I went down for... Um, I was facing the wrong way. <laughs> um, I had a friend who lived in uh, Melbourne for a little while. And um, 
he was a big F1 fan and he invited us down, me and a couple of friends down for the F1 race down in um, Melbourne. So we went down and it was a ton of fun. City's gorgeous. Um, a lot of really, like really nice old architecture mixed with new. It's the city center is just really fun to kind of walk around and hang out in and all the rooftop bars and stuff are like really cool to see. Um, I'd like to go back at some point, but uh, there's so much of the world to see that I that I haven't quite seen yet. So it's a little further down my list than probably I would like. All right, let's see. I got a guy here. So I'll hold off on decorating that in a little bit. But uh, all right, let's move on to. I gotta figure out what I want to do here. I think I want this to be like the main living quarters, but I gotta uh, figure out how I want to do this. Actually, I want to do some stairs, I think, and then have like a rooftop, have this be like a rooftop garden. And I was really proud of myself, actually. I placed the, because I just had to free place these, so I placed them. <laughs> Almost perfect, so I think the roof will actually just kind of slot in. Uh, let's see, I think I want this one. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then on top of this, I think I want to do like a rooftop little garden. And the thing that sucks with these piers is that, like that life preserver uh, sticks out and I can't put in like a, a wall there or else it'll... Um, it won't work. So let me try. Let me see if I can try it. creating a new blueprint and working around that. I'll go over here. Let's see. Are you grandma was stationed in Australia? That's crazy. Oh, grandfather. Yeah. Do you remember where they were stationed? I think Australia is a lot like the US, like you don't realize how big it is until you try to drive through it. It's such a huge, well, Australia is a continent technically. Um, even driving, like we went from Melbourne up to like a nature preserve outside of the city and it was just, you're surprised just how like huge the whole place is. All right, so let's see, make a blueprint here. So I'm making this blueprint because the one I currently have is, let's see. I got that little piece, the little floor decor item in the center and it's conflicting like directly with the uh, life preserver. So I wanna try to get it so that it's not basically. So let's do this is a great trick. I'd, I'm sure you guys already know this, but uh, this blueprint, that's a great trick for just free placing walls. So I'm gonna put this way over here. Blueprint at all. Uh, anywhere, side thing, whatever, doesn't matter. Oh, Perth, yeah. Um, I know Perth's on the eastern side. Is that right, Early? Am I saying that right, Early Aussie? I think it's on the eastern side of the continent, right? Okay, let's see if this works. Ooh, maybe. I'm going to these things are always so finicky. Hang on. Uh, 
That's not bad. Let's see how that was. Ooh. It's not bad. Nice. Okay. And then I think I can do this. Ooh, that thing's going to be trouble too. Oh, western side, yep, yep, that's true. Swan logger. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a beer, right? Sorry, I'm trying to whoop, see my chat here. I'm still getting used to this whole streaming thing, so Bear with me. First time, first time. Okay. All right, so that wall plays pretty good. So let's see if we can get this one to pl uh, this one to place. Two. Oof. I want it to be. Okay, will you place? Yeah. Ooh, that's a little, it's a tad askew. Let's figure that out. One second. And a little bit of a, the server is a little laggy if I'm honest. Perfect. See if this one will work too. Nice. There's a couple um, stores around here. I think that would probably have Swan Lager. I'll keep an eye out for it next time I'm kind of poking around for beer. Would you recommend Aussie? Have you had it? Most Americans typically know Fosters, but that's uh, this is probably not going to work. Ooh, it is. Hell yeah. Got a lot of blueprints. All right, sweet. Let's see if uh, no, okay. Ooh, that'll fit. It's not too bad. I'm willing to uh, go with it. Perfect. And then this one, will this one fit? No. Okay, so what I'll do. Let me just see if I can destroy it. Yeah, okay, there we go. This <laughs> is taking a while. When in doubt, just burn everything and then you should be good. <laughs> Aussies don't drink Fosters. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's like, um, what is it? Outback Steakhouse. Like everyone in America is just like, oh my God, it's Australian, but it's, it's an Americanized Australian restaurant. Um, so. Brother bought a bottle of Swan before my grandfather passed. Oh, that's really nice. Nah, I'm gonna have to check it out now. I'm a fan of lager. I like a lot of stuff. I like um porters and uh darker beers. I like dark lagers, like Czech style lagers. Those are good too. Let's see. I do want stairs up here as well. Mm, let's see if I can remember how to do the stair trick.
Hey, ex lunch lady. <laughs> How's it going? We're just doing a little building today. Let's see if this works. I think this is the. Uh, I don't have the blueprint at the handy for uh, for the stair trick, so we'll see. We'll see if I can wing it. Just talking, uh, talking Australian beer here for the praises of Swan Lager. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. There we go. Okay. Come on. Ooh. Hey now. Oof, it is so close. Oh, come on. What is it intersecting with? You gotta love this build system, am I right? Let's go, come on. It's green. Lager tastes like steak sauce. <laughs> That's interesting. I quit drinking 10 years ago. Yeah, I get that easy. I've been pondering, um, you know, lightening up my uh, intake as well. Dude, come on. Are you kidding me? Place. All right. Let's see, maybe it's the rug. Let's do... Oh yeah, are you used to playing 4? I played Fallout 4 quite a bit. Um, I put so many hours into that, but it was, this was back on when I had a 360, or not a 360, Xbox One. Um, and that's actually what got me into 76, because, um, let me see, stir, stir anywhere. Um, I loved the settlement system in Fallout 4, and, um, I basically built out everything, you know, each of the different settlements. And um, when 76 came along, I just, I was one of those people that didn't get on board just because like, you know, all the YouTubers I was kind of watching at the time were just kind of going off on how, oh, dude, come on. What is it intersecting with? All the YouTubers were just talking about how, like how bad it was and all that kind of stuff. Well, let's go over there. Can we go this way? Let's see this. <laughs> you know you want to. You know you want to. Oh my god. All right, we'll come back to that. The dock surface, yeah. The the dock surface might be the issue. Actually, yeah. Let me um. Let me try oh, putting down a rug first. Yeah. Yep. Putting down a rug. You're a day one player. Yeah. I mean, um. I thought about it, but at the time it was you know it was pretty ex expensive. It was like a you know what full price game and there's all these bugs and people just weren't people were talking more or, more or less about like 
just all the issues it was having. And I think the issue for me was the lack of NPCs and they just didn't not feeling like a Fallout game. But I think I came in, God, what was it, 20, 2020? So like kind of early in the pandemic, I think. And um, this was like post Wastelanders, post a lot of the updates. And so, God, this is just bugging me. Come on. <laughs> Okay, we'll come back to this. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they are both really great games, don't get me wrong. And 76, I've been basically playing 76 um, exclusively for a couple of years now. Um, I mean, I play other games here and there, but um, this is my daily driver, basically. Like, I just, I play this mostly. And um, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, there's, the community is fantastic. Um, being kind of among the other builders in the community is, is great too. Like there's a lot of kind of shared camaraderie there um, and it's a, uh, it's a blast. So I really dig it. And the content, I mean, the content that keeps coming out is great. Like I like this season was great. Last season was pretty good too. Um, and uh, I did like the Atlantic city, I think update more than the pit update, to be honest. Um, I like the expeditions a little better, but. Or the prefab in front of it. Are you talking about the... This is... I can't move this. This is like stuck there. Um, yeah, I mean, th there might be stuff here that I could maybe... I'll play around with it. Um, you guys probably don't want me like... <laughs> to watch me do this for like an hour. Um, oh, thank you guys. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, my thing... My take on builds is I want to be as realistic or as like lore friendly as possible. It's it's hard to do obviously for the modern builds. Like you, you can't be really lore friendly with modern builds, but um, that's kind of a, just a different style altogether. But yeah, I mean, my purpose for these is, yeah, I want to make sure like when I'm building something that, you know, if you're just kind of like wandering around the wasteland, it looks like it belongs. And so that's kind of always the vibe I'm going for. It's always hard to do just because, you know, we, we get limited foundations like they're all just kind of squares. Like I wish we had like the, um, like in Fallout 4, or don't we have, it's been a long time since I played, <laughs> but don't we have um, triangle pieces and, and that sort of thing? Um, yeah. Oh, you started with the pit update, Aussie? Yeah. Yeah, the pit update was great. I mean, it, it brought a lot of interesting stuff. Um, a lot of people were complaining that the, um, you know, the expeditions were kind of just like daily ops uh, clones, but I kind of like the expeditions and all the rewards and stuff that kind of came with them. And it was a nice change of pace. And I wish, I, what they're doing with the, uh, oh my God, I just had a brain fart. You know, with the Atlantic City DLC um, is kind of what we wanted with the pit update, which they're building kind of a storyline around it, and they're expanding the um, they're expanding it so it's not just expeditions. You can like do other stuff there, so that's kind of cool. So we'll see how it all turns out. I know, like, I'm not in the or at least I haven't gone into the um, test server yet for this new update, but um, I thought about it. Yeah, the Fallout community is great. Um, in general, yeah, like Fallout 4 was great. Like, I don't know if you guys... I used to watch No Response. He was kind of who... He was the um, builder who got me into building initially. Like, I would just watch his stuff and um, just fall in love with, with the aesthetic and the, and the mechanic. And he's what kind of led me down the rabbit hole of building in Fallout 4. Um, all those settlements and stuff. So let's see. Ugh, that's not good. Yeah, metal. No. 
What platform am I on? Um, I'm on PC. Um, I played Fallout 4 on Xbox though for a, while, a long time, but uh, I don't have my Xbox anymore. I gave it to my uh, brother-in-law. <laughs> He's got it. So I'm um, PC only, and I have I have a Switch that I play uh, Smash Brothers on. Basically, I have a ton of other games, but I just I don't do anything else with it. All right, let's play around over here for a little while. Um, so I want to make a. How do I want to do this? Maybe I want to do. So I want this to kind of be the. Dining area? Hmm, I don't know if I like that. Hey, Joe. Yeah, no response was great. Um, I watched all of his, you know, in depth um, sediment tours, and like he would do. It was almost kind of like I, I got really an ASMR for a while and um, I still kind of am and a lot of his kind of tours where he did like um, you know no speaking tours of his camps were great um, it had a very kind of cool ASMR vibe and I kind of fell in love with it and I started kind of building or like taking some of his tips and kind of learning in the Fallout 4 settlement structure and um, it was great I've thought about I know some people have been kind of asking me to go back into Fallout 4 and do a lot of those, and I've, I've considered it. I do have it. Um, it's just... <laughs> I've already invested so much into 76, you know? Um, dollars and time, and so it's uh, it's just one of those things. It's all Jover, but the crying. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else do you guys watch? Like, I watch... I mean, I follow pretty much everyone now, but... Um, for all I was watching, um, well, I watched Darth Sion too. I like his some of some of his stuff. Um, Milne's great. Obviously, TNG was great. Um, he doesn't do a lot of builds anymore, but let's see. Ugh, I like this one. That's not too bad. And then what I'd like to do is just kind of figure out, let's see. Should I have the tables? Should I like these kind of tables strewn about? I do want to have like a bar. So this will be kind of like the bar area. And what I want to do actually, now that I think about it is put up a something that looks like a bar so I'll try to mimic it um, not chair let's see this is like okay yeah something like that okay so then what I'm going to do is, so I want to lift it up. People are still discovering building exploits. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, I mean, Bethesda games in general are just, um, you know, <laughs> the engine is so old and it's built with like duct tape and hopes and dreams. And so I think there's probably a lot of ways around like if you know what you're doing and you can kind of find different exploits and stuff um, in the system. So let's see if this works. Dude. Sometimes it's all about finding the uh, connecting point. It's usually one of these legs. But I've never really used this one before, so come on. Let's move. 
Okay, this thing's gonna annoy me. Why aren't you moving? Oh, this wire's not gonna... Come on. <laughs> oh, can I not select the wire? There we go. Oh, wait, is that the vending machine? There we go. I just turned, there was the um, NPC around here. He's gone now. I don't know where he went, but I turn on voice a lot and um, just because they can be really annoying sometimes. All right, let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. I've thought about actually going and doing like a playthrough of New Vegas. I haven't played New Vegas in ages, but um, I'm kind of curious to kind of go back, go back and play through it. Dude, are you kidding me? Hmm. Can I get it? These things always seem to work pretty well. Okay. Now where is my... What's over here? You guys know this trick, I'm sure, yeah? Ooh, that might be it. Let's see. I just want to get it at the right height. Ooh. One more, one more notch, I think. We'll do it. New Vegas is what got you into the franchise, yeah. Um, well, that's a good entry for sure. It's a good way to get in. Um, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, the story is fantastic. Um, I'd say probably the best Fallout story of of the series. Uh, I will say though, I've never played, I never played one or two, to be honest. I played three, four, and New Vegas. So basically just since Bethesda took over. <laughs> yeah, couldn't put it down, yeah. Um, dude, are you gonna be a jerk? Hmm. This should theoretically work. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Nope, don't scrap that. <laughs> um, I'll change it to wood. Oop. And then burn it. I thought about going, um, going back and playing one and two. Just because I think I have them actually. I, I bought them. There's a deal on uh, GOG, Good Old Games, at one point, and um, I think I, I think I picked them up. I just I've never. Ooh, 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 is that gonna work? Is that gonna be lost though forever? Probably. Ooh, that's a little too high though. Crap. Can I get in there? Shoot. Yep, there you are. Okay, if I'm going to do that, I got to move it down just a little bit. One and two scare, <laughs> scare you? Yeah. I think I did try playing one, and um, I just didn't get it. Like, the... Um, it's like the isometric view and it's just, it's one of those where the same thing happened to me when I tried playing Morrowind for the first time. And 
I just didn't I, I just didn't get it like I just wasn't at the Ooh, is that good let's see I wasn't at the uh, gamer aptitude to kind of comprehend what I was supposed to do and is that ooh, that looks good over just a little more though um because it really like Morrowind just kind of sticks you in the middle and they don't really give you direction and I think I needed a little bit of direction to kind of be like okay go here do this come on let's go What's that? Ugh. Still not good. So this is my building process, guys. This is just <laughs> dicking around like this <laughs> for hours on end. Come on, maybe you can go. Ooh, no, that still feels weird. Okay. Uh... All right, well, let's see how that looks. Mm. I don't know if I like that. You didn't like Morrowind either? Yeah, I, Morrowind's one of those I want to, I feel like I need to go back and play. Um, but it, it feels kind of dated at this point, but, um, my friend, you know, my, one of my old roommates actually loved playing Morrowind. Um, and he's the one who actually got me into Oblivion. We played Oblivion and, um, I would just watch him play for hours. Um, and it was great. And when I got, you know, when I got it myself and played, um, Oblivion was just like front to back, which was a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Um... And then obviously Skyrim was was fantastic too. Modded Morrowind, yeah. <laughs> From what I remember, you don't really need to uh, mod it too much to have a blast. I think my one friend was telling me that he uh, like he he had this like potion or this like ring of le like um, uh, levitation or something. So he would just like he he imbued the ring with like levitation powers and he would just like fly around everywhere basically so he was immune to all traps and it was kind of this funny thing he was telling me like he got so powerful that it was it was um pretty cool but i know you can't really do that you couldn't do that in oblivion i think um whereas like marwin is much much more um much more of an rpg in that sense nope don't do that uh i don't know if i like that to be honest with you guys Kind of looks too fake. Let's see. All right, let me see if there's another thing I can try. Ch ch chairs, yeah. This one, maybe. Come on. Okay, and that disappeared for some reason. <laughs> we need a uh, wizards in seventy six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. The closest we have are the the Mothmen, and I, I actually kind of like the Mothmen. I wish we could do. Let me know what you guys think. Like, I think the, um, I would like to do like a role play as like a Mothman, but you can't really hear. I mean, the Mothman are antagonistic, obviously, but, um, they're not like the worst, you know? They just kind of want to worship, worship the Mothman. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, I uh, wouldn't. 
it'd be kind of fun to do like if they had like quests and stuff i would love to be able to do that just have specific quest lines for mothman or like have be able to like um you know like in any other game like if like if it's like if it's skyrim you you can go to the college of winterhold and you have that faction you have the all the other factions you can join like why isn't why aren't the mothman a faction that you can join here what am i doing I need to get used to like talking and playing at the same time. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's still a little bit too high. Okay. Are you guys excited for the um, the new expansion that's coming this year up to uh, the Shenandoah Valley? Ooh. Should be good. Let's see. Dang. grabbing it. Come on. I feel like no matter what I do, oh yeah, because it's in the center crab. Oh, I got up. Okay, I'm an idiot. Not even listening to my own advice. Oof. Can I get it over more? Crap. Okay, this should be good. Joining the cave crickets. <laughs> yes. They are, uh, they're from from very formidable in this game, that's for sure. Although ever since I, I have a vampire chainsaw, ever since I got that, they haven't been that bad, honestly. Cave crickets, yeah. Yeah, if you could, if you could play as like an animal or like a creature, would you get? What would you guys play as? I think it'd be fun if they set up so that you could like play as like the blue devil, and just go like wreak havoc, you know. I think that could be kind of fun, or like an agua, Ag agua. A death claw would be a lot of fun. God, this thing is not cooperating with me. Jeez. A mega sloth? Yeah. It'd be fun. I didn't realize it freaked, it really freaked me out one time I was going walking through the mire and um, there's a megasloth like hiding in a tree and I didn't know that they did that and then it like jumped down Grafton monster oh that'd be fun have you guys I don't know what they did to the um, what's that one the one event in the mire with the uh, oh my god I can't remember the name of it with a giant strangler pod thing. And there's the uh, 
the Grafton Monster boss at the end of that. I think they buffed that thing like crazy because um, it always kills me with like two hits. It's wild. Let's try this. I swear to God, this is going to work eventually. I'm glad you guys are here with me. Joining in the pain. Let's see. That might work. Ooh, okay, that might be, might be good. Why won't you work? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Holy cow. Those things don't work. I should have known that. Uh, but you know what does work? The snow globes. I should have remembered that. Okay. I had this problem before in my Appalachia Radio series, actually. Oh, okay. Hang on. Couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. There we go. Okay. Nope. There we go, oh my god. <laughs> it's all trial and error. Okay. I don't mind if it sticks out a little bit. Let me go up here. What do you guys think? Uh, ooh, just maybe over a little more. Ooh, that's not bad. It's not bad, but it also kind of feels a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> but it gives it a nice look. Let's see what that looks like. I think it gives it. Ooh, that's like oh, that's perfect. Um. But it makes it look like it's supposed to be there, so like you can set drinks and stuff on top of it. And maybe on the side we'll have like little, like a light or something, like little lanterns or something. I'll do the same thing here. So just kind of like make it, and then yeah, put up uh, a couple uh, bar stools. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It does look snazzy. All right. Let's do another one. What am I doing? Cheers. Come on. What are you guys up to this weekend? Anything fun? I have a friend's birthday party I'm going to tonight. So that should be should be kind of fun. And we got the Super Bowl this weekend. Aussie, are you uh, are you into the American football at all? Ooh, that's a little bit too high. I will say the one thing that I did want to go to. Uh, that I didn't when I was down in Melbourne was uh, an Aussie rules football match. I didn't get a chance to go. Not 
Nice relaxing weekend, yeah. Ooh, yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> the puppy bowl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the puppy bowl's cute. It's funny how like a lot of other channels were started doing like their own little Super Bowl type content. It's kind of funny. Ugh. Your dog likes the puppy bowl? Yeah, um... Do your dogs my well um my dog he used to he never understood that, that there was a TV there like it just didn't he didn't know that it was there it just didn't click for him for some reason Is that good? Yeah, that should be fine. Ooh. Uh, I got to change that. Too much of a perfectionist. Whoop, oh, nope, oh, whoops. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Your Westie attacks the TV. <laughs> uh, in general, or just like if there are dogs or animals on the on the TV. Yeah, not a regular follow of the game. Yeah, I get that, Aussie. I get that. Are you a regular soccer fan or a? Football or just Aussie rules football? How many people do we have in here, by the way? Eight watching. Holy cow. It's a record. Thank you. Yeah, it's coming together. Trying to decide what I want to do, how I want to like, um, make sure these are good to go. Let's see. Maybe like a mixture of fences. one of these bad boys out maybe mm. Mm. this music is just very chill give me one second I'm using the lo-fi girl stuff. Okay, synth wave. Let's try synth wave. Can you guys hear the music, by the way? Can you hear it in the background? Or sh do I need to turn it up a little bit? Ugh. Dogs, animals, and Eric Roberts. <laughs> Pavilion set is very handy for a lot of yeah yeah for sure it's um I wish we had the angled roofs but it makes sense that they're only like you know the flat roofs but you know what are you gonna do let's see I don't want to do this Let me 
Maybe this? One of these bad boys? Okay, so the Yule clip through. That's fine. It's fine with me. And then, let me get these out of here for now. I can decorate this later. So we got our little bar. We can set up seats on this side too, I think. Got our weather station. Water purifier. And I set this up so that it, it looks like it's kind of all connected. Oh yeah, and I didn't even talk through this. Like I, I put this all on a uh, pool table, and it was going to have like the vendor back here, but it just it wouldn't wouldn't work. So that's why I have them over there. But um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And then we can maybe do, I don't know, add some stuff in here. We'll figure something out. But. Uh, Jazz this up a little bit through decoration. No, and I merged. Yeah, I merged this down as well. It all, it all came together pretty well. All right, cool. Thank you. Let me turn it up a little bit. How's that? I don't want to drown out my beautiful, sultry voice. All right, let's see. That wouldn't work. Oh, thank you. Alright, so typically for these fences, it's weird, like, I, w I wouldn't want to do... Uh, that's not a little loud for me. Let's see. Like that, okay, I think that's good. Um... So you don't want to do something that's like short. So if I put this here, you know, whoop, come on. It wouldn't really make a lot of sense, but you get the idea. Yeah, okay, think about it. Cause you want it to sort of connect and you don't want it like dangling. So like, let's see. could do that actually. Let's see what that looks like. So burn this. Actually wait, maybe I don't need to burn it. I'll just get rid of that. Oh, is it in right? Okay, yeah. Let me just get rid of this. We don't want you dangling. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Then I'll do that. That should snap, theoretically. Nope, okay. <laughs> Never mind. The water purifier. Yeah, thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, I wanted to do something in this space back here because it, this little, cause this is a pre, this was already here before. Um, and so building into it was pretty difficult and I couldn't put a foundation here. So I'm like, well, let me think about what I could put there. Um, so I knew I wanted the steamer and um, well, you can kind of see through that a little bit, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so I knew I wanted the steamer. And I'm like, well, what else could I kind of fit back there? What would make sense? And I think the water purifier. I did have, um, I did have the uh, water wheel here that was powering this, but it. Oh, I'm gonna leave. Hello. Um, I did have the water purifier here. I'm not the water purifier, I got the water wheel. But uh, 
it was too chunky and I wanted I needed the space for other stuff so like for this little building here so that's kind of the idea did they get lost <laughs> where'd they go Yeah, they disappeared. Oh, they're there. Um, did you know the destroyed version of the fire barrel turns into a smoldering pile? Yep, I do know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, it's uh, I think I tried merging it into something. It doesn't merge very well in other stuff, but you can't destroy it and use it. I think some people use that before for like smoky effect and stuff. Okay, this should go now. Boom. Alright, this light goes into that. Makes sense. And then... So now that kind of opens us up to doing something else. Hmm. Let me destroy that again. See if I can get that in there. Yes. Whenever possible, I always try to get stuff that to like kind of sit into each other a little bit, just because it makes everything look kind of anchored, you know. So now that we have that as kind of a divider between the two, now it makes sense to kind of... How's that alignment though? Oh, it's a little... it's a little askew. Let's burn it again. Super Mutants helped me out with that yesterday, yeah. <laughs> They're good at that, for sure. I had in, did you guys see the modern build I posted recently? Like that, for some reason, the last couple of days, I've been getting attacked relentlessly there by super mutants. And um, they uh, destroyed a bunch of stuff and then I, I fixed everything. I did the fix all and then it, I think that should be good. Oh, how's that? Yeah, that's good, that's good, okay. That's good. Um, so it fixed all like the walls I had destroyed that were hidden, and uh, <laughs> so I had to go back and like re-destroy them all. All right, so that looks good. Yeah, we're just looking for like a... Did you go? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Should I do... Let's mix it up. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Let's use one of you. No, you won't work either. Oh yeah, you will. Dude. You don't need support. Oh, you'll fit. Dang, that doesn't connect. Hmm. Oh, and it's a little off too. So let's see. I didn't really think this through, did I? Hmm. 
<laughs> Where do you guys have your bases built? Your base, I mean your camp. I try to, for all of my videos, I try to mix it up between different regions, but it uh, doesn't always work out. But I do love the ash heap if you're, <laughs> if you've noticed. Let's see. Maybe I do want. This work. Hmm. A lot of times just getting the build system to do your bidding is is all is all you can do. It's not gonna work. Hmm. Got a boat built in a lake south of Thunder Mountain. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's a good spot. I do love the mire too. Just like the, the vibes it gives off. It's just gorgeous. That is the mire, right? Am I stupid? Thunder Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> What do I want to do here? This is... Hmm... Could I do a... let's see... Can I mix it up with one of these? Maybe? Let's see... Also, you have one in Flatwoods, one where the copper and iron deposits are in your vault. Oh yeah, that's smart. Do you do a lot of like... Is that on purpose for the copper and, or and iron, or is it just happenstance? I do like Flatwoods too. I do want to do one of those, a build on the top of that Flatwoods building. I did one, like this was before I started making videos, I did do a build there. Um, but it was pretty janky, and uh, I was like still getting used to the building system. So, I do love Flatwoods. I wish there's that um, little area in Flatwoods that has. Is this gonna fit? Okay, we gotta go over here. There's that area in Flatwoods. I forget what it's called. But, um, well, not what it's called. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Um. It's like a little garden plot thing, and it's got um, like lights hanging around all of it, and it looks like a kind of like a cool spot to build. But because you're in in the uh, city limits, you can't really build there. On the, your flatwoods ones on top of the building, yeah. Okay, let's see if this works. The one thing that sucks about these piers is you can't destroy them. <laughs> that that works. This would be kind of cool. Hmm. What does that look like? Hmm. 
Hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe, let's see. That's awesome. <laughs> That's not bad. This is kind of sitting up a little bit though, which I don't know. Oh really? I hope it <laughs> hope it's not putting you to sleep now. I do love lo-fi stuff, um, and this, the lo-fi girl channel, they let you add into your streams, and um, as long as you just give them credit and stuff, so I do, if you've seen my videos, you obviously know, like, I really dig music, and um, I was trying to match up my music, or like a song that I really like with, with my build, um, so I've been doing that ever since I got monetized, and um, I do like the rep share stuff with some of the new songs, so. It's a lot of fun. And I wish I could play like the music, like a, one of my playlists with you guys, but obviously you, know, you can't just because of the copyright laws and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. Where'd you work overnights? Was it like a security thing or like a... I've worked overnights before and it was always I was destroyed the next day. It was not fun. I didn't do it for very long. Actually, let me do this. Her Dark Mistress. Oh, <laughs> how's it going, Dark Mistress? You were too engrossed in saying hi to you, and then swapped to the Adam Shop and bought something you did not want. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. I know. I, there's been stuff I've bought at the uh, on the Adam Shop. I'm like, I just you instantly regret it, but you're like, eh, what are you gonna do? Your freight team supervisor? Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Heron. Oh, yeah, you you were just at uh, my vendor, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Heron in game. Are you in this lobby? No. Yeah. Well, welcome. Thanks for, uh, I don't remember if you bought anything, but thanks for stopping by. Oh, the V-Day bundle for the flowers? Yeah. Wait, which? For the flowers. Which one is it? Oh, yeah, I think I already got those. You're talking about the flowers that the, uh, I think you know what you're talking about. Anyway. No, I think the new flowers, it's these ones. Let's see. Where are they? God, there's so much stuff. Here they are. These ones, yeah. These are gorgeous. I'm so glad that they added these. I 
that's one of the things I wish I wish we could build on top of um, the uh, within God I can't think of it now oh Lewisburg yeah build within Lewisburg because I loved their like rooftop gardens and stuff I've always wanted to do something like that that would be cool okay I need to finish this let's see floor decor could we do a instead of a fence could we do a floor decor let's see no not that the downside of having a lot of stuff is you just you forget where things are and it just takes forever sometimes to find stuff no not that like give us a tab for rugs give us a tab for flowers and plants Give us a tab for like boxes. Just like organize it a little bit. Like help us out, you know. Yeah, condense it, yeah. I um I was I was working on a script actually for that because I, ha I had it all laid out like you know like if we had sub menus so like instead of having like there's like 26 uh, menus up here so shrink that down to like 10 and so let's have um, furniture furniture is one and within furniture we have appliances beds chairs stash boxes displays things like that and then decor would be floor decor and wall decor obviously and miscellaneous would technically be and then take things out of the miscellaneous that don't need to be there so like there's a ton of stuff in here that doesn't need to be here like this Hollywood vanity can go in furniture <laughs> this terminal can go in your appliances or your like whatever you know all this Kwanzaa stuff can go in decor, floor decor. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, whoever's in charge of that just is not doing their job very well. Am I on for a bit? I'm probably going to be on for another 30, 45 minutes or so. I do, do got to get ready for the uh, birthday party later tonight. Too much confusion. Yeah. Yeah, I think if they did... So, like, there's um, the resources, which kind of makes sense. Like, these are, like, interactive things that provide you with stuff. I mean, I, that makes sense. But these can also be within, like, a different category. Um, there's more special items that need to be just jam all special machines. Yeah. Yeah, and I think my menu's getting slow. I think too a good a good idea would be to put all of the like games. So like we have like this arm wrestle machine, the derby game, and then if you look under floor decor, there's like this game, the ball toss, and then like darts. Like these should all be their own category, like interactive games, let's say, and then this thing, the bowling arcade. It makes no, it makes no sense, and these like big signs, you know, this is a light technically, but it's not like something like this would, oh, like it used to be considered a light, because like we have these things like this, the tavern light. I don't know. It just makes no sense. Oh, that's what happens though. I think when you get people that are 
like different team members move in and out and like you see it all the time with in corporate um you know that's kind of the world i come from people move in and out of roles and you lose um you know knowledge between people leaving and people moving to different teams and things like that and the nomenclature for naming like the naming convention for things changes and so you get things that are kind of mixed up everywhere which kind of it, it doesn't help anybody there's no consistency uh, what was i doing okay let's see let me see if i can do this So I did that so that I could do this. Whoop. And it would look halfway decent. Oh, is that what this, they do in The Sims? I've never played The Sims, but that makes sense. Doing bedroom, game room, kitchen, yeah. Different subcategories. Yeah, that would be great, like if they did by theme. Yeah, so like if you, by theme or by season, let's say. So if you did like a Nuka-Cola, so up here you do like themes, you know. You'd have a theme tab, and then under themes you'd have Nuka Cola. You'd have like <laughs> um, Mothmen. You'd have Raiders. Like you'd have kind of everything that you could think of, basically, and everything that fits under that category would go there. And so, if you're building a specific theme, then you know you could just go to that tab and be like, okay, well, I know I need these things, and it would really it would really help, I think. Um, so. I mean, it just, anything would be better than what we have right now. And to be honest, like the Fallout 4 build menu was fine, but with all of the um, the mods and stuff, it just made it so much better. And you look at Starfield. Have you guys played Starfield <laughs> by chance? That build menu is atrocious. Um, I actually, I quit playing Starfield. I haven't finished it yet just because it just was so bad. All right, let's do roofs. Let's do. Hmm. Should I do. I can always play around with these later. Perfect. Goes right into that. So that's being held up there. Then I just need one kind of right here. So let me do that now. So I'll do. I don't like the, like this, this thing, it's a little too chunky, I think, for what we need. It's a little too sturdy. So what we'll do is we'll do one of these. I'll just put them, put them together. Okay. And then it'll come out here. Like right here. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading. Um, clean up general rugs, go to rugs similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there... I haven't played Skyrim in, a long, in quite a while, so I know that there was, um, you know, a couple things that they added, like you could you could have a, a couple houses here and there, um, and then within that you could, like, add things, like there was, like, mannequins and stuff you could add, like, your stuff to, um, but have modders kind of flush that out a lot more? That'd be interesting to kind of go back to, maybe. 
What does that look like? Let's see. Oop, a little too much. <laughs> a lot cluttered if long-term players who may or not have all, nearly all the items yeah yeah i mean if you're a new player just getting into 76 the build menu is fine because there's not much stuff but like the more the more you add you know atomic shop items and stuff from events and scoreboard and it just it gets unyield unwieldy and frustrating for long-term players Seems fine to me. I'll do. Hmm. I'll do one on that side too, I think. Boycotting Sarah Field for your own mental health. Yeah, I get that. I was really hyped for, for Starfield, to be honest. Like, I, I really wanted it to be good. I, I you know, I, I didn't like buy into the hype necessarily, but I knew that it, I knew that it might have a kind of its, some of its issues, as all Bethesda games do at the beginning. But I just, I wasn't prepared for just how bad it was. Like, it, you have Fallout 76, and granted, it's not like your big money maker, right? Come on. But it's got a loyal fan base. It's got people that are really invested in the community. And you've done five years of work on improving the UI and things in Fallout 76. And you, I'm sure you, they've learned lessons from that. And then to go and just like ignore everything. <laughs> and yeah, the build menu here sucks, but like compared to Starfield, it's like, it's a masterpiece, you know? It's like, it's crazy. Um, you think they, they would have known or like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't make any sense. And for being in development for so long, um, it's just, it's kind of mind boggling if I'm honest. You're pitching the white. You're pinching the white picket fence post idea. You're pitching it. Do you not like it? <laughs> and it looks fine. We'll jazz it up a little bit. I think this looks good. We got, uh, so the idea being, I can get rid of this. So we'll have a little, another little stool here. You know, I like to put the, uh, let's see. This shelf here, it's another little kind of bar area. So you can sit out here, look out on the water. Hell yeah. And we'll have um, tables, so we'll mix it up. I'll try to do something like this. Actually, you know what? I'll put down the rugs. Uh, I'll just do a general kind of like layout and then do like all the decorating maybe another time. Come on. You know you want to. Is that going to float? Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Why is it floating? Ugh. 
Must be that's a perk of the uh, dock. Oh, pinching. Oh, do I got you. <laughs> pinching. You're stealing that idea? Yeah, yeah, totally. Do it. Um, yeah, I use that. I've used it a couple times before in some of my other builds. It's it's really handy because the the stair posts are really bulky and black. And so like if if you know, if that's not something you're really going for, then it's uh it, they and they stand out really like a sore thumb. Even if they put the building kits together, roofs, walls, floors. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, each build kit. Like, yeah, you should have multiple, you know, I, I'm, I'm appreciative of having a new tab. I'm appreciative of having stored, like whatever. But yeah, like themed, like themes I think would be great. And because you know in the back end that they've got to, like if you know anything about metadata and like item inventory all that kind of stuff you know that they have metadata for all this and so like something's tagged as like nuka cola or something tagged so it would be super easy for them to build out like a theme or like a like for the root for the walls um you know you have like a sub menu of like metal walls and then you just navigate through all the different metal walls you know it's it, i could i could talk for hours about this it just doesn't make any sense I'm still debating what I should do with this roof. Let's see. I, I can mix it up. We can do... Let's see. Not that. It needs to be janky. One of those bad boys. That's fine. And we could do, let's see, we could do a thing here. Let's see if that'll work. Let's just see what it'll look like anyway. So this is my column blueprint. what we'll do. Can't do that. Uh, burn it. Oh. Come on. Oh, what? <laughs> I disarmed it? Okay. The mine roof? This one? Yeah, this one's really good. I don't like I don't like to overuse roofs if I can't, but it makes sense, you know, in some aspects. And I think this one's great for yeah, looking janky and, and rusty and old. Let's see, I think there's I like this one too. And I, but I wish this one, the flat one, had that dangly vine look to it, like these ones do, you know. The burned one is kind of cool too. Is that like but it's like really black and it's like a stark difference I don't know we'll just go with the pavilion one for now and then we'll just go from there all right let's see if I can do that now blueprint it works That's why I love having this camera view. Come on. There, ooh, there you are. Okay. And then what I do is, let's do it this way. 
Oof. Actually, no, we'll do it the other way. You guys get to see the process in real time here. Do a power connector. We need to get CL. I'm oh, sorry about my mic. Full of roof sets, yeah. How many we got in? See. Ooh, nine watching. Welcome everyone. Appreciate it. First stream ever. You guys can say we're at the first uh Fuzzbrain stream ever. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, uh, wrong way. So what I want to do here is I want to add lights. String lights. I'll try to get that. I don't know if that worked. Let's see. Nope. Oh, someone's over there stuck. Oh, hey, how's it going? Whoop. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh... Ooh, that almost fits all the way. <laughs> okay, so what we can do is just move it up slightly. Okay. Dude, help me out here. into it. It's perfect. Needed to get from one side of the map to the other, yeah. How are y'all doing with the uh, current season? Are you done or are you um, still working through it? I think I'm on level 120 or so. One sixty, holy cow. That's pretty awesome though. <laughs> You'll finish it this weekend, excellent lady? Yeah. Um it's you, I mean, you have a long time to be honest. <laughs> There's probably no rush. Because um, I think it ends next month, is it? So I think you still have a bunch of time. But um, I usually, like, each day I try to go through and... I haven't done today's, let's see. Yeah, I haven't done today's, but... Um, yeah, where am I? Yeah, 121. Um, I usually try to do them every day, because, like, depending on depending on each of them it just it depends on um, how difficult they are but the re-rolls have been great which is which is really handy and um, sometimes I can get through them in like 20 minutes so sometimes it takes a little longer depending on the depending on what you have well, it's raining out now all right let's see 
So I got that. Might do is just put up. Just uh, put up a generator real quick. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Make sure it looks good. Not too shabby. You can do the same thing on the other side, maybe. to draw the dailies, yeah. Oh, Expedition Stamp Grind? Yeah, that's that's a rough one. I'm so glad that they changed around, like, the stamp, <laughs> the whole stamp process. Um, and I, I felt so bad for the people coming in um, after the pit, because, like... To get a lot of that, like to get the um, both the auto axe and like it was just you'd have to be playing for years to to get that to work. Um, so I'm glad they kind of like restructured that whole thing. Oh hey, Jazk. Am I saying that right? <laughs> How's it going? I can't, I, I can't tell you guys the last time I've done a daily op. Like, it's been so long. I don't like doing daily ops anymore. Well, I mean, if, if it's necessary, I'll do them, but I just typically don't do them. I do expeditions instead. And that may change, you know. I'm, who knows? Let's see. Let's do this again. Welcome to the stream. Really great to have you here. How are you doing today? Any fun weekend plans? That sort of thing. Are you hopping on? Let's see if this works. Oh my God, would you let it first try? Oh, it's a little, I might back it up just slightly. Perfect. Okay. Do the same thing. Or should I do the same thing? Nah. Let's do mm, the blue ones. No. Let's do. What are these ones? All oh, the Voltec ones. No thanks. Twinkling. What do these look like? Can always change them back. Here what I'll do. Okay. This takes four. It takes two. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's do this. Cause I did have this set up before so that I could power it through that. 
Um, so let me do this. Where's my stash boxes? Let's do this bad boy. And then, here, let me take you. Nuke being dropped on the bog. Yeah. Well, that's a horrible placement for, <laughs> for, for that nuke, holy cow. No thanks. Well, I'm building, I, you can't bomb up here anyway. So, it's fine. Yeah, for those of you just joining, I'm way up here. Just west of Hunter's Ridge, south of uh, Point Pleasant. There's there's this um, kind of cool little area. This There's an NPC usually that's here. I don't know where he went to, but this structure's here already. So I'm just kind of building around that, building kind of like a, a little restaurant, Meyer Lurk restaurant bar sort of thing. So actually, before I do that, let me turn on my pip light. Okay, so I'm gonna grab you. Let's see if this works. I've never tried this before. So I'm gonna merge two of these together. Let me grab my... The person who dropped it has a fight cage. What do you mean a fight cage? I've seen... I've seen someone build like a Deathclaw arena and then have like their pet Deathclaw inside of it. I think that was kind of cool. Let's see, generators. Oh, a fight. Oh, like to, to uh, fight against the queen. Oh yeah. <laughs> And let's see if this works. Because I need six power, and this will do it for me. No! Come on. Oh, oh, I hate that. God dang it. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then... Which way do I want this facing? Do that like that. Nope. Ooh. Which side will it fit on? Oh, I need to uh, actually change this around a little bit. Need it to fit within that. Well, it's nice to see people um, nuking the queen again, because for the longest time they weren't doing it because it was har so hard to get through the silos. But um, I wish people would nuke, well, I, I guess I'm part of that crowd because I don't really go through the silos anymore myself, but um, I wish people would, you know, nuke nuke a world once in a while. Which is that? Oh, it does. Okay. Perfect. How's that looking? Okay. Merges within merges within merges. Row pops up a lot for you? Yeah. Sometimes, not not too frequently for me. I typically skip Earl. It's not worth the hassle for me. This is too much. Yeah, that's way too much. I need to bring it out more. Like, I don't need, you know, screws anymore. I think screws is what you get 
You get a lot of screws from the uh, Wendigos and stuff, but I just kind of play at my own pace now. Yeah. I just started getting into, so I'm going through all of the, I'll show you in a second. I'm going through all those like robot, kill all the robot challenges. And um, I decided my next one's gonna be uh, laser weapons. <laughs> so uh, let's do, let's do, can we do this? Actually, wait, let me do this first. Burn you. And, um, get out of here. Okay, that's not great. So, yeah, I'm doing, what is it, character? No, combat. Yeah, with the robots with a laser gun. And so I, I only have assault rifle and then no weapons next. And so I'm getting there, but the laser gun is so bad. I'm doing my first bloody build. <laughs> How many mergers are there? Yeah. There's three for this one. So let's do this. Boom. Okay. We are the merge resistance is futile. Yeah. You guys are, So I just rewatched. This is going to be way off tangent. But I just rewatched the um, the J.J. Abrams Star Trek reboot from like 20. What was it? 20. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? You're not going to connect to that? Ah, you will. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I watched I rewatched the JJ Abrams reboot. And um You know that Nero has that huge ship and I was like, "Well, how did he get all this tech, right? Cuz he's just Romulan." And come to find out, he got all this tech from like the Borg, apparently. Or like there's like this Borg tech thing he got it from and it, it was covered in this like comic book leading up adaptation leading up to the movie and stuff and I was like this is crazy didn't get it so there's a weird kind of connection to the Borg I don't know if you guys are Trekkies good job on the challenges yeah the well what I do is I you know I go through I would go through one and so it's it's actually a good way to kind of figure out your the different play styles that you like and um so I've gone through every single one of them basically and so far I really I still prefer melee like melee is still probably my favorite um and but I'm just kind of trudging through these and then I got assault rifle next obviously but um I never set out to you know I been trying to get to get through them like these the camp ones i get through just kind of naturally i just finished this one the decorative furnishings like recently i think or no wait, not the decorative furnishings the functional objects one but i wish they gave you more atoms <laughs> so <laughs> you know it is what it is what time is it oh 4 12 okay i still got a little bit of time Bethesda says this is the only way you can place and build builders go nope merge ahoy yeah <laughs> I'm so glad someone figured out how to merge because it'd be really boring without that. All right. Oh yeah. So these. Okay. So these are powered now. Uh, let's. So I have this on a switch, so I can turn that on. And I can. I mean, it's already raining, but it'll change the weather to the Atlantic City. So there's really no difference. I don't know if I like these lights. They're not really doing it for me. I think I'll just swap them out. I don't like to do stuff too symmetrically, if you know what I mean. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do this. I'll do that one, and then maybe, let's see. Do they have the... Hmm. You've only seen one Star Trek movie? Man. Better get on that. 
So when I was a kid, I used to watch Star Trek uh, Four all the time. The one with the whales, with the original cast. I love that movie. And then, um, do I have a fave yet? The uh, yeah, probably that one. The Star Trek Four. Um, Star Trek Two is also up there. So the Wrath of Khan is fantastic. You don't need to see any of the other ones really. Wrath of Khan is great. Wrath of Khan is like if it's a very suspenseful kind of it's almost like a naval battle in space sort of vibe. It's it's like a revenge plot. It's very well done. Um, and then six. So the even number for the original series. Uh, the even number. So two, four, and six are the best. The other ones you can probably skip. Oh, excellent, lady. No, the original series is great. I'm one of the first builders you followed. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You learned new stuff last night. Awesome. Yeah, I try. Um, I figured. I debated streaming for a long time, but I figured if I'm gonna spend hours building, I might as well stream it, <laughs> so that there's kind of a repository of all the different tricks and stuff that I use. So, because building or like editing, um, like building and then filming and editing is just it takes so long, um, and it's so tedious that I figured this might actually be a better way. So. <laughs> Great soundtrack on Khan, yeah, awesome, awesome movie. Yeah, if you haven't, if you guys haven't seen Star Trek, definitely check out Wrath of Khan. Um, it's a fantastic movie. the The next generation movies you can probably skip. I don't, I don't like those too much. But the the J.J. Abrams ones, the the newer version, um, from like two thousand nine or whatever. The first movie's great. The second one is okay, and the third one's great. Star Trek Beyond is is really great too. Let's see. What am, what am I doing? I can't. I can't remember. All right. Well, I put that up, and then I was gonna do another light, but I might do the light like over here. Whoa! I just skipped. Yeah, because I don't like things to be too symmetrical, like I said. So we'll just play around with it a little bit. See, so yeah, like I said, if you're new to the stream, I levitated these things up. So the, these are like little bar, bar areas here. I uh, levitated them up with uh, snow globes. Got it to a really nice spot. Added this thing here. All that's coming together really well. Hmm. The builders have been the ones that convenience me to buy atomic shop items. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely some atomic shop items that are way better than others. So like, what what am I doing? You know, the catwalks are great. They're very useful. Um the junk walls are great. Like I would say fences. Anytime a fence comes in that you can snag, like pick a fence up. Um, especially if it's like immersive and yeah, I mean, I thought about doing a video on that too. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. But, um, yeah, it's, there's so much stuff that it's hard to kind of sift through, but you know, I mean, everyone builds or everyone plays differently. I mean, there's tons of people that just like buy every power armor skin that I just, I don't care about power armor at all. Like I don't care about those skins. I don't wear power armor. Like it doesn't phase me at all. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the bar's coming together nice. Any video by me? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've been trying to think about different I video ideas. Like the, um, the one I just did with the the uh, robot rampage one. It was, it, it was an idea I had for a long time and I was, I'd like to get better at editing and that was kind of a way of me doing that. So I'm glad people kind of dug it. All right, so let's see. Let's 
do one of these bad boys. Can you? Yeah, you uh, put you down here. Wish we had more junky walls and prefabs like we had in 4? Yeah, totally. So, like, there's those... I have no idea why they don't do this, but, like, in 4, do you remember they have those, um... Those roofs with, like... With, like, the cloth tarp on top of it? That, it, like, let light in, but it was kind of, like, open air. It's... You can kind of see the... It's the same exact one at, like, Marigold Pavilion, I think? I think there's... Either Marigold Pavilion or... What is it? Carlton... Cable, Cobbleton Farms? I have no clue why they don't include those here. It's the same roof, you know? And it would look so cool and like add to immersion, but they just won't. It just makes, ugh, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> oh, you don't care about power armor either? Yeah, totally. But I mean, that's a fun thing about Fallout or, you know, any of these games is like, people come to it in their own way and they play how they want to play. and. You know, there's people that do, um, they just run West Tech for hours on end. I'm like, that. why? I, <laughs> I don't, that's not fun for me, you know? But for them, it's like amazing. Like you look at like Angry Turtle, um, you know, also another great YouTuber, but like that sort of stuff, like refining and um, fine tuning your, your character builds. It's, it's not something I'm really, I don't care much about. I'd much rather build. Oh, the excavator power armor? Yeah. I do usually, I, I do occasionally bust it out. I only wore it for the challenges, like the Adam challenges and stuff, but, you know. So, what, uh, what am I doing? I get to talking. Let's see. Let's start building this out a little bit. So I like how that is. Let's do, can we do a shoe? Shelf here maybe? Hmm. Let's just put some lights around just so we have light. Actually, you know what, let me turn off. Turn this off, maybe we'll get light back. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> To the thing that sucks about here is we gotta contend with this like little lip in the roof and I want to put a little table over here so maybe one of these will this fit oh, okay gotta put a rug on it min max puts me to sleep <laughs> yes Although I do, like, if you guys watch Mr. Church, I've been watching his, um, well, I just like his build videos in general, but also, like, he's been doing those kind of fun character builds. Like, he just did a Cupid one, and he did, like, a Jesus one recently. Like, those are fun. Like, those I enjoy, but just, like, do, you know, do this, and you want to use these perk cards, and you want to do that, and you want to use these buffs, and you got to do this and do that and I'm just like I don't I don't have the patience for that just bought the taggers bundle is that the one you bought on accident or did you just buy another thing on accident <laughs> her dark mistress Put that there. Yep, okay, that works. So I'll, I'll add more decoration to that later. Yeah, you can totally request a refund. They, If you bought it within the last like 24 hours or something, you can request a refund, I'm pretty sure. Having, having a nosy at this build, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Mr. Church is great. I never used to watch his streams because he was just on um, Twitch, but he started streaming on YouTube, and so I'll watch that. I'm not a big fan of Amazon, if I'm honest. Um, and that's coming from someone I, I used to work there, actually, and I'm not uh, not a fan. So, so I'm not. I'm trying not to support Twitch, and I've you know people have asked me like to stream on Twitch and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to. It's cool to see builders improve. Oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, just look at the the building community in general. The ones that are um, consistently putting together stuff every week. Like you think about like Milne, you think about Moonlight Cowboy, Vix. Uh, I mean, there's so many, it's crazy. Um, and the community just keeps growing and growing and growing. And TNG has been doing a great job of bringing pe more people into the fold and, um, you know, with the competition like, every week and it's, it's been great. And I feel like I, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I feel like this is going to be a big year for Fallout just in general with the TV show coming out. And I think 76 is going to be a big part of that because you think about like what Bethesda is doing just in general, you know, strategy wise and like they just released Starfield and that's going to be, they're going to be supporting that for a little while. And then they have the next Elder Scrolls game coming up and then there's got to be a fallout after that, but that's probably not going to be for another 10 years. You know, it's like crazy. And so 76 is going to be the only thing we have for like 10 years in Fallout. Boo Amazon, yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I thought about, I think I want to do something over here. Just a little kind of nook. So let me see what I can do. Let me blueprint. Do this. See if I can get this to play play nice. Oh, come on, dude. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, there it goes. Oh, but it's too high. Crap. Hmm. Whoop. Just exited out. Okay, let's see. Which is why your flabber guy said the cuts they did with the community manager? Oh, yeah, totally. Um... I d yeah, I mean, I don't get the strategy sometimes either. What they were saying was with Lady uh, Devon or Devin, I forget how you, I don't know how you say it. Um, you just get the sense that they, and something I was reading, it, I, I keep talking ahead of myself here. How's that? Ooh, that's better. Okay. So you just get the sense that they after they merged with activision they kind of just merged their community management roles into like the same thing and so which sucks but i was reading the other day like the fcc is going to be looking into it because um the whole point of them approving the merger with activision was that microsoft said that they were going to be largely leaving activision alone and it was going to be like operated as center, separate entities and going through the process of like of merging the way that they did goes against what they initially told the FCC and so like they're going to take another look at it and see if it was like illegally done so who knows who knows what will happen but it is shitty I mean you see layoffs happening all over the place and it's it's not cool for anybody and it sucks nope whoa no, don't, don't delete. Do I ever watch Stole You Sweet Roll? Yeah, sometimes. Um, Stole You Sweet Roll kind of evaded my my YouTube 
algorithm for a while. Um, I didn't come across him for a long time. But um, yeah, recently I started getting into him and I know he streams quite a bit. He does more like um, modern stuff or just like regular houses and stuff, which which is really cool. Um, but uh, in all honesty, lately I've been watching a ton of City Skylines builders and um, those have been a lot of fun to watch. Will you fit? Come on, you can fit. Yes. How's that? I think we can do better than that. Actually, let me use one I haven't... I think that one, yeah. Much better, much better. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Do I want that wall there? That's a thing. The wall seems a little bit too, like, formal for this area. Let me get rid of that. It's not the same thing, good because they shouldn't be gobbling up entities and deleting the gaming. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, I don't know. Like, outside of 76, I try to support indie games as much as I can. <laughs> when something is half a <laughs> micrometer off. Yeah, exactly. It needs to be perfect. Let's do, let's see if I can do, ooh, this bad boy might be too much. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Does it sink down? No. Hmm. Let's see if I can um, merge that down into something. This might not work. I don't, probably it won't work, but we'll see. You found the building is harder these days? How so? Like with bugs and stuff or just... Um, like apathy around building or like what is that? Dude. Maybe just a roof that posts. Yeah, I yeah maybe just a roof. We'll, we'll see. This is all part of the thing. Trying to figure that out. Ooh, come on. Yeah, it should be enough. Let's see. God. <laughs> okay, like it sank in by itself, but the card won't sink in. Okay, that's kind of weird. Walls, tire walls are so robust, yeah.
wall up close, that and the old pop out, yeah. <laughs> the glow letters don't click, Veggie's got a big area, vaults are more of a pain in the butt to build. Big one for me, there have to be a mile off placing something on say a wall or up close. Yeah, I think things have gotten a little bit more buggy, for sure. Um, and I don't know why that is. I, I find myself popping back and forth between the camera, like the free cam mode and stuff, and that seems to help, but um, yeah, I don't know. All right, here's what we'll do. Another death from above? Jeez. Okay, I'll get rid of this real quick. I'll put the... I'll put the wall back. I'll put this back, and then I'll add a roof to it. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Oh, you worked before? There we go. Whoop. Okay, then I'll add the roof. Ooh, maybe this one. Let's see. Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> what does that look like? Whoop. I hate when you pick something up and it leaps either towards or away from you. Yeah, I mean that happens quite a bit. Some of these just came from when they turn on the click or not click option. The click or not click option? What are you talking about? I'm not sure I know what you mean. <laughs> I would like that a little lower if I'm honest. Let's see. Oh, should I show you guys this? Made this little walkway over here. Let's get up here. Where's that? Again in the same area? They probably don't want their yeah, the little thing there. That's fine. What? I built that? Yeah, yeah. It's, um... So this is a picnic table that I merged onto a, a mat. And then I just set this on top of it. So this is just a dresser. And then I put two little nightstands on it. And that's the little walk-up walk, walk up thing. Works pretty good. I was thinking about doing another another way to get over there from here. I mean, you could just walk, I guess, but... Whoa! Um, do that to kind of add to the immersion because this is all broken and busted so yeah I initially so I initially had this boat way over here because I was going to have it as part of like the restaurant area but I decided against that so so I moved it over here and now it's going to be like a little hangout spot 
Oh, hey, Goldfinger. How's it going? No. Well, this this walkway wasn't. Um, the only th thing that was is like this. See these like barrels here? It was just this walkway here leading up to this little building here and then this stair. So that's all that was here before. Everything else I added. So yeah, this, this part, you can see... It's just a picnic table. It took me all to get the alignment right, but bad time. It's late. Yeah. <laughs> are you where are you? Um, oh, you're in uh, Europe, aren't you? It's a. Uh, it's only twenty to five here, so not too bad. Okay, so let's see, instead of, let's do a mixed approach here. We'll do, we'll do this. We'll do one of those and then we will do Whoa, not that. So like I flipped it around a little bit so it's not so like perfect, which is great. Cool. And then on this side, I'll do the uh, stair po or the fence post again. Honestly, thought most of the trashy stuff was game clutter. Yeah, I get that. I mean, how dare you? Yeah, it's coming together nice. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, my... Let's see. Oh, come on. Work. Nope, not that. T. There we go. Ah. <laughs> what do you got going on goldfinger what are you building lately how much oh yeah what's way too much. Let's see if this is any better. Mm, no. This might have to be... Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I see it doesn't work so well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. there maybe I'll use a power connector it works sometimes hmm You built a mining camp for Bethesda? Oh, the showcase. Yeah, nice. I need to... I always forget about the Bethesda camp challenges and stuff. <laughs> um, maybe I should do that at some point.
Right, will you fit? No, you won't. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's do... Display. Let's do some barrels and see if that works. Do one of those and then we'll do a wooden one. Just mix it up. Never thought to build on a shipping container? Oh yeah, shipping containers are great. You have to check out, I haven't seen it yet, Goldfinger. I'll check it out soon. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine. I should bring this over here. Oop. That'd be too silly if I did that. Ugh. One of these. <laughs> One of those? No, I don't think that would be cool. Oh, there's this thing. Oh yeah. Hmm. Let's see if this what this looks like. be moved over a little bit more, yeah? Okay. Which I think we can do... Oh, nope. Just need to reburn this. Let's stick the two small bridge caps on top of the container to make a scrappy cottage. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. I think I just picked up the yellow ones. They just they came back into the atom shop recently, and um, they're great great additions to any build for sure. Uh, let's burn this thing too. They're cool. You can build like in. If you guys, um, it, it was a long time ago. I had a build that was like a raider. Um, is like a raider build with the shipping containers that I built down near Ohio River Adventures. Is that little peninsula you can build that down there, and um, you can build like the floors into the shipping containers, and like build out the walls and stuff, and it gives it a really cool scrappy look. That's a little better. Perfect. Just a happy little, happy little coincidence. There we go. But what we can do, let's see if we can burn that. And the server's starting to get a little laggy. Love the workbench it comes with. Oh yeah. Ooh, 
check it out. That's fine. Let's see, let's just kind of jazz this up a little bit here. Will this work? Birthday present to Billy? Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat. You guys are going quick. Um, <laughs> going to stick to Zoom Eldridge caps and continue to make a scrappy couch. Yep. Um, are, you are you guys talking about the workbench, the new one in the Atom Shop? <laughs> if it'll load here. This one? This workbench? Yeah, the new one, yeah. Yeah, I thought about picking that up. I, I probably will, but um, yeah, it would look good here. I thought it was a uh, cooking station, but it's a, it's a weapon station, which makes sense. It's more like a, like a medieval armory sort of build. If you do have too many repair kits, put on the top two repair perks and use the kits to repair armor and weapons to get the items challenges. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Boom. Yeah, I know, Goldfinger, I know. I'm very... <laughs> I'm very uh, frugal with it all. I will pick it up probably, but I just haven't yet. I mean, I guess I can put that there. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep playing around with it. All right. So that's coming together nice. We got a little thing here. I do want to make this look a little bit more... I probably will. Let's see. Let's do a blueprint. What time is it? Alright, I probably got uh, 10 minutes and I gotta go. I wonder if you can merge a cooking station onto it? Oh yeah, for sure. You probably can. stairs. What's that? Ugh. Let me do it a little bit different. Um, I was going to add, anyone excited for the new Dune coming out? I just rewatched the uh, first one last night. So good. Yeah, okay, that's way better. Now it looks like everything's kind of supported. I'm gonna do... Let's see, back here what I'm gonna do is just... Uh, some nice chairs. Call you Goldie? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're excited for it, Dark Mistress? Yeah, it's gonna be epic. Let me do floor decor. I read all the Dune... Well, I read like... 
the first three or four dune books and uh, they get really weird so if you're looking for like a fun sci-fi kind of weird uh, vibe definitely check those out um, just all around really great books the, the film is fantastic too let's do cheers this is gonna be just a little let's see Is that a snake? What's that? Hmm. I mean, it would kind of make sense that this would be here, yeah? Let's see. Maybe I'll put this up here for now. For later. I'll, I'll decorate that later. Oh, is it worm? Yeah, sandworm. There we go. <laughs> God, yeah. I used to be terrified. Uh, if you guys watch like Beetlejuice when you were young, or when I was a kid, I watched Beetlejuice and uh, used to be terrified of the sandworms. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish we had like little fishing things, you know? Yeah, no, we need to turn into a snake. Yeah, <laughs> and he's still got the Beetlejuice head. Yep. Oh, speaking of that, their Beetlejuice 2 is coming out soon. Like this year, I think. This will be like a little tackle box. Wait, no, what? What do I mean? Oh, yeah, there's a new Beetlejuice coming out. No. <laughs> Michael Keaton's Beetlejuice. And it's directed by Tim Burton. I don't know if... um, uh, What's her name? Oh, my God. Please help me. Hey, chat. Winona Ryder. I don't, I don't know if she's in it, but I know Michael Keaton came back as Beetlejuice. They just... I've... From what I heard, they just finished wrapping the uh, production, so they're working on post-production now. Yeah, Winona Ryder. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it would be funny if they brought um, Catherine. Oh, she's on Shit's Creek now. Catherine, because she was the mother. She was Winona Ryder's mother. Um. She's been, she's been having a resurgence lately too, so it'd be great to see her again if she came back. Because I don't think they died, I think they just kind of ran out of the house. Alright. Let's see if this thing works. Actually, you know what? Oh man. Okay, yeah, we did a ton here. I think I gotta scoot though, I gotta go get ready for this uh, birthday party. But thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, first stream ever. Uh, really awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. All of you. Dark Mistress, Josk, Easy, all you guys. Yeah, of course. And Gold Goldie, if you're still on, thank you too. I'll go check out your camp in a bit. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon. Take it easy.